This is an interesting one. Uh, talking to a client, a buyer this week, he inspired me and he, he told me, he said, I prefer to buy a house that's a bit more expensive. It's a stretch for me, but the interest rate is so low rather than waiting. And in a few months, the interest rate is likely going to be higher. And therefore that would take uh, buying capacity, purchasing power away from me. So an interesting reflection because we saw the property market in, St in Spain uh, starting very strongly in the beginning of the year with more transactions, demand coming back, interest rates are still very low, prices are still very good, etc. Uh, but there's two factors, two factors that didn't exist um, a few months ago and are external factors impacting the market. They will impact the transactions, probably prices as well. What are they? One is inflation. Inflation is around, you can't avoid it. Uh, the second is geopolitical and, and economical uncertainty. Now, both things, uh, when there is uncertainty, uh, that typically leads to more people putting money into uh, property rather than in stock markets or crypto, etc. Because there's more volatility in, in the other uh, investment assets. So there's an expectation this might lead to more demand, more transactions in, in the near future. Uh, certainly the inflation part, uh, very high in, in many countries across the globe, uh, buying a property is basically hedging your savings against inflation. Um, money on the bank account loses value every single day. What you can buy today with it, you can buy tomorrow with your same money. The property uh, typically increases in value. If you rent it out, rental prices go up with the uh, consumer prices index. So, yeah. But the cost of the property, if you finance it, remains stable because you've, you can lock in fixed interest rates. So it's a very interesting way of hedging it. Um, and avoiding the risks therefore. So let's see how these things uh, evolve in the market now. Um, but points indicate that demand for property might be stronger. There is a risk because of the uncertainty in, in, in geopolitical and in economical uncertainty that some buyers will wait maybe, put their plans on hold, but that's too early to make a decision now. So stay tuned, follow us, and I'll keep you posted.